All right, uh, so back again. Uh, my little like mic stand makes a lot of noise. Um, yeah, so I haven't summoned in a while. We haven't done a whole lot. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of videos just because I'm not really too appreciative of where the uh, the meta is right now. Um, yeah, the fact that Cavline is basically running Aether Rays is kind of boring, and it <laughs> sucks the joy out of playing this game. Um, so yeah, uh, otherwise we're going to summon here for a few things, and for those of you who may or may, or may not be wondering, though probably no one's wondering, uh, I'm not switching over to Cavline, I'm probably going to stay in the Flyer Ball, but there's a few things that I'm, I'm waiting to like get, like I have to wait for, uh, what's her name, uh, Duo Lin to come back, because I need to, I, I want to get more merges on her for the Flyer Ball. Uh, there's a bunch of, there's just a bunch of stuff that's like, I don't want to, because I have them all locked, right, so when you make your Aether Raids team, you can lock them into place. I don't want to unlock them re-bless them for both seasons and then relock it again when I'm not ready yet so the 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 AR defense teams are kind of just sitting sitting there a little stagnant right now um and I'm kind of losing a, a bit just you know th there's certain things where it's like I'll lose and I'll be like okay well you know if I had changed that now I mean one of my teams still has um what's her name uh dual pala on there and and while dual pala is pretty good uh I really do think the coverage you get from uh, dual dual Lin is better, so that's you know that's a swap I've made. But one of the teams still has it on there just because I, I kind of haven't wanted to like take them off. So uh, for anyone wondering, I mean the flyer ball is still there. I'm still working on it. I need to like I just need to make it better for the the new meta that we're in because you know <laughs> Cavs basically beat everything and and um, you know it's hard to deal with. It's annoying. Uh, but yeah, so we're just gonna summon today. Do a few summons. Um, I have 500 orbs. I've been kind of itching to summon, and also there's a banner I've been I've been wanting to summon on, um, and we'll see that there. But we'll go through like these free ones first. Uh, who do we want from here? I don't think anybody has fodder. Yeah, he doesn't have anything good. Uh, he has nothing good, and she also has nothing good. So I guess we're pulling on green because I do need more uh, fa merges or fa merges. I call her fa, but <laughs> I know some people call her fa. Um, we're gonna go for blue. Just because it's a chance to get the uh, Brave Hector from like the 4 star whatever like upgrade thing. Uh, so it was going to be pulling on blue for stuff like that. So we got nothing out of there. We're going to pull on blue here because for one I need um, Wyvern Flight and the attack defense solo 4 is not too bad either. Because you can take you can take 4 and Wyvern Flight at the same time so that's pretty good. And it's not so bad if I get him either. He's got a bunch of decent fodder. Um, red. She's got some fodder but like you know. No one's really going to use this. I don't, it's not something I need immediately. So we're putting on blue, maybe green second. So let's try this one. And of course we got this guy. And stop. Uh, let's try. So I'm not going to go to pity on this because I don't really... There's no one I really want from here. Uh, but I kind of do want to like Scythia, so I'm probably going to pull for red. And obviously my, my legendary Ike could use a few more merges, so... Okay, so nothing on red. I guess we'll pull on blue. I think blue is the next best color. I forgot what the other ones were, but I did not expect to not just get no reds. Uh, of course, we didn't get anything, which is fine. I didn't really expect to get anything here. Uh, and stop. So green was green. Yeah, green was probably the better color to go for. Um, what, what skills did they give her? So uh, they upgraded that, which I forgot what it does, but I didn't really care enough to, to look at it. Oh, she has joint treasures. So yeah, so probably green would have been the better one to go for because green also shares with her. Uh, and she's got this and this, so. But it's fine. We probably wouldn't have pulled her anyway. Either of them. Uh, so let's do this. I'm not going to go to pity on this either because I don't care about any of these units. Like, I know, uh, like, for her, a lot of people want to plus 10 her, which is fine, but I'm not going to plus 10 her, so there's no reason to go to pity. Uh, for her, uh, these skills aren't very useful, and I don't really want one of her either. I mean, like, if I pull one randomly, that's fine. Uh, her, she's pretty good. Uh, I like this new Frenzy skill, but it's kind of counterintuitive. Like, they, they, they work against each other, like... You have 40% damage reduction, which means it's harder for you to take damage, but the skill requires you to be less than a certain amount, right? Like, and especially because the, the 50% is so low that it's like, I'm not sure what the point of this skill is. Um, yeah, so. And it's something very useful, right? Because, like, they need to be less than 50% for the the desperation effect to go on, and that's a pretty useful effect. You can double before they can counterattack, so you can just kill a lot of people. It's gonna be really hard to get there if she constantly, like, is reducing the damage she takes. Where something can, like, if you take a look at something like Spurn, uh, it's only 75%, which isn't too bad. But the effect is just, like, 5 extra damage, which is not the biggest deal, but it's also not, you know, 
it's just kind of weird how how this one's designed. It's like, hey, get less than 50% HP, uh, but also here, don't take as much damage. So I'm not sure what this skill is here to uh, improve. But anyway, probably out of all the units on this banner, I want her just because at a plus one, at a at a one having just having her basically there, um, no merges is still pretty good. Better than a lot of green axe units, though. My um, what's her name? Uh, my Hannah, my Ninja Hannah is plus 10 already and fully just like I kitted out. So that's, you know, it is what it is. Uh, and then a lot of people really want her because of this, which is pretty good. Uh, but other than that, like there's nothing else on here that's worth anything. Like she has this and she's a calf dragon, but like who cares? For one, I don't use a lot of calves. And two, calf dragons aren't very useful because the only calves that matter are all the range calves. And the only calves that don't, the only range calves that still matter are things like um, Elliewood and just like, uh, like, like lunge or, or, no, what is it? Is it lunge? The one that swaps places and then like gale force strategies and stuff like that. Those are the only other calves that matter. So, you know, uh, her being here doesn't really do very much. And then like this skill is kind of garbage because she has to be on defense and no one's going to run around defense. Um, and then there's the little attack speed, of course. Uh, you could run around defense to get the 30% damage reduction, right? On your cav line or whatever you're running. But if you're running a cav line, first of all, they shouldn't be hitting your... They shouldn't be hitting your, um, you shouldn't be hitting any of your units. Like, the point of running a cav line is to lock them to the back row, right? Um, so yeah, if, if, if you're locking them to the back row, you shouldn't be taking any damage. So this is basically worthless. Um, but, you know, once they start scattering and they start running around, you know, whatever. Uh, and the fact that she's not a mythic also makes it so she's not really worth having on the cav line. Because, again, she's not a ranged cav, so she's just going to have to run up to people and hit them. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Like... There's just better options. So I'm not sure why people, who would want that. I mean, it's just one, it's nice to have one of, but uh, like you have to be summoning for a purpose, right? You can't just be like, oh, that's a good skill. I want it. And then you have it. And it's like, well, now what? You didn't have any niche to fill with it. And you didn't have any strategy to go along with it. So that's something important to realize. Uh, that's kind of why I'm not really, I don't care too much. So we're going to summon on green because um, getting the, the four star green axe would be nice. Uh, getting the five star green axe would be nice. Uh, getting Fey emerges would be nice, and lastly, getting a Kidna emerges would also be nice. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I probably you know if this was a good banner to summon on, I'd probably be um, going all the way to that fifty or that forty to get the the stone because that's a pretty good deal. But there's really nothing that I'm gonna I want to waste uh, pity's worth of orbs on, so we're just gonna we're just gonna use these free tickets they gave us and uh, bounce out here. Uh, let's see. Hopefully, I get something here. Sorn. So so far, not the I haven't gotten the four star focus or any of the four stars I wanted, which is kind of weird. Um, I don't know. Like it, it's strange that I got my like it took me forever to get my uh, Ninja Hana to the to the plus ten um, because like a lot of people had her like you know a month or two after like they either had her like the day she came became available or you know they got her shortly after. Uh, let's see. Let's do this. They got her shortly after. Uh, and it took me forever to get her, and I still uh, got her to plus 10 faster than I got my Echidna, which is pretty interesting. Uh, because, like I said, I don't, I can't pull any Echidnas anymore. Just tuck it up for a minute plus 6. Uh, and Fa, I haven't gotten her uh, any, any more merges on her. Um, so now we're going to get kind of to the main purpose. I think the, the pro I'll probably put the title on here about what I'm pulling for. The main thing we're pulling for is going to be uh, Colorless Freya here. Um, just because, I mean, one, it's a, I mean, look at that summer skin. Uh, two, she's also a very strong unit. Um, she looks like she'd be a lot of fun to use. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Just kind of want to pull for her. Um, it's, it's so interesting because, I mean, you know, apparently there was like a, a, a hentai artist who, who drew these. Which I thought was kind of funny that they, like, I'm glad they gave them a chance and like, oh, you know, we're branching out in art styles and stuff like that. But it just looks so, like, strange that, like, their art style, like, their faces in particular kind of weird. Um, not necessarily a bad thing. I just, I mean, I like it, but... Um, it just it does it does seem a little like off brand almost, uh, but so yeah we're gonna be pulling for um, we're gonna be pulling all the colorless orbs. I'm probably gonna get screwed over by RNG and lose a bunch of orbs on her, which you know I should be saving because I do need another merge for um, I do need another mer I do need more merges for Fallen Idol Guard. Uh, stop. I need more merges for Fallen Idol Guard for one. I need more merges for uh, Duo Lin for two, and I need more. Wow, this is bad. Um... But those are the two main colorless ones. I would like more merges for my um, uh, legendary 
Corrin, but that's not less. That's not like a priority the same way um, the other ones are. Uh, so we've got. So let's let's take a look here. Actually, I should probably prioritize. So green is probably second, but there was no green there. Uh, so between red. Okay, so between red and blue, he's got attack speed solo four. That's pretty good. So I'm probably gonna prioritize blue. So red's gonna be at the end. Okay, so colorless green, blue, and then red. Um, yeah. Colorless green, blue, and red. I'm getting jobbed over on uh, on colors here. Oh, don't tell me he's a five star. Thank you. So attack speed solo on four stars. Not too bad. Uh, I'm actually kind of happy about that. Um, just because. The main thing I need right now is attack defense solo because um, never so often, like, th those are the two, I have two units I need to get that skill on attack defense for. Um, I'm kind of hoping I get lucky and just kind of pull her um, before I get lower, dip below 500, but I'm kind of doubtful of that. Um, if anything, we're going to get pretty broken by some off color, um, by some off color hero here. Um... Yeah, and for some reason, whenever you're looking for colorless orbs, you never get any. It's kind of strange. <laughs> uh, let's go back here. So yeah, uh, unfortunately, this is kind of like poor investments. I mean, I wouldn't really recommend anyone summon for her unless you really kind of just like the art or uh, like Freya, the character, which I obviously like the art. The, the character, I have no idea. I don't know anything about... Um, about her in the story because I don't like <laughs> the story is just the source of orbs for me um, I know that's kind of uh, what's the word maybe uncouth to say um, but yeah I really can't be asked uh, I would have loved Tethys and uh, Felicia merges a while ago or something really long time ago now uh, back when I was merging them but uh, they're both finished now so it's like they're just uh, free feathers kind of yes okay we got her uh, since even pulling this whole ring, I'm not going to dip below 500 orbs. I think I'm just going to pull the other two, uh, the other the other five, I think. Uh, we are going to dip, but that's fine. I mean, I'm, I'm okay with that, considering how early we got her. And we, we got an, uh, an attack boon, or attack bane. <laughs> that's hilarious. Um, so that kind of sucks. But yeah, so, um, you know, basically what, what I was looking to pull for here. Um, one of the reasons I also pulled for her is because I feel like there's going to be banners where... She's going to overlap with Fallen Edelgard, as well as um, she might overlap with Duo uh, Duo Lin. Uh, so I think, you know, it's a decent investment looking at it like that. But uh, further than that, it's not like, you know, having a plus 10 uh, Freya is not going to be like that broken. At least not. I, th I personally think she's not going to be anywhere near as strong as like a plus 10 Edelgard, Fallen Edelgard, because that's that's ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, so I, that, that you know, that's some rationale for for those of you. Um, it's while it's a bad idea to pull, I, I did want to have one copy because I do eventually plan to merge her up, and I'm hoping that she comes out on banners where she's uh, double dipping with Fallen Edelgard, who I'll already need, and Duo Lin, who I already need. So, uh, yeah, maybe she come, might come out in like a legendary banner. I don't think they do that with these units, but I'm not entirely sure. Maybe she'll come out in, like a legendary banner with like the the uh, the legendary Corin. Um, so yeah, that's something to consider. Uh, let's do one more. Just pull this colorless orb here. Maybe we'll get, um, it'd be pretty crazy to get it on camera. Two Freyas in the same, uh, batch here. Uh, so yeah, there we go. And we'll back and stop. So yeah, there we go. Um, relatively short, sweet video, I think. Uh, hopefully I don't, yeah, there was nothing else I was going to summon for here. Um, I didn't care about any of these units. Uh, I really did want Mercedes. I pulled, uh, <laughs> I pulled red, hopefully to get her, but obviously with one summer and, with one summon, you're not gonna you're not gonna get very far. Um, but yeah, there's not a whole lot I wanted from here. Um, it's nice to see more stabs come out that are more interesting. Uh, but given like, just hope. Well, I mean, they're gonna come out eventually, but just hopefully they're not too many um, cav healers. Because cav healers with strong stabs are gonna be just pure cancer uh, everywhere. Uh, but yeah, so like I said, pull if you like any of these characters here i mean there's summer characters you, you pull them more for fun than like actual meta viability uh but freya seems like to me the only one that's probably going to be uh decently competitive if you're fighting because one of the things is that now like thanks to like dual lift on defense i think it's dual lift yeah he's dual lift 
dual lift on defense and other units like him, the whole like have one mega tank, just drop him in there and try to take out as much as you can is becoming less and less viable because there's just certain things you can't counter. Like a plus 10 uh, Freya fully kitted out, maxed out is like half the time isn't going to survive the dual lift, right? You're just going to die. Um, not to mention the fact that you have something like um, Deep Wounds or whatever. I'm not sure. I don't remember what that skill is called exactly. But that skill that makes it so you can't heal um, is also something to be wary of. Because like a tank like her is useful when you have like noontime on her. Uh, and then she's like surviving and fighting constantly. And the inability to heal just kind of takes a lot of that away. So something like Dual Lift kind of doesn't necessarily 100% shut down Vector. But not letting him heal after like he like he'll probably initiate first because he'll do the most damage. And then after that, he'll like, he might die, but sometimes he'll survive. Um, and then it doesn't really matter because now Bector can't heal and he's just going to die to everyone else, right? So that inability to heal in and of itself is already one of the probably stronger things he brings to your defense team. Uh, the damage reduction penetration or the dodge canceling, whatever, it, it only reduces it by half. So if you've got 40% reduction, it goes down to 20. That's still very strong as well. That's important to realize that uh, that's no joke. So... Um, yeah, so for any of you wondering, you know, if this is a good investment, I, I kind of say no. You kind of need more rounded team now where it's like, all right, these two units counter this and I you, they go in there and take that out. And then we kind of move our dancers in and we, we just kind of like, you want a, a sort of a whole team that kind of moves in unison ra rather than, um, you know, one unit that's like your mega tank and then everyone else just kind of supporting that unit. It can work. And I mean, I still, that's what I do because I don't really, I can't be asked to use like any other kind of strategy like a... Um, like a hit and run strategy or, or gale force strategies. I, I just can't be asked to use any of that. Uh, so I still use a very uh, simple like single tank strategy, single single like you know carry strategy. Um, but that's just, you know at the higher end that's sort of falling off a lot more just because like I said um, dual lifts and things like that are becoming more and more common and it's something that's like hard to deal with. Uh, but yeah, so that's that for today. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, probably sometime this week maybe uh we'll, we'll see the thing i was waiting for was to see what, what the banner was going to come after this one before i decided someone on here but i've been getting a few orbs here and there and you know i just felt like you know let's just pull um and i got her soon enough so you know whatever comes after her i'm, I'm feeling like maybe edelgard might come back or something like that so if dual lin comes back at some point that's probably when i'll you know blow a bunch of orbs on her and then try to um rearrange my my uh, ar defense team and we can you know i can go over that and we can I can kind of talk about it because I've been wanting to make like an AR defense team, like um, flyer ball kind of analysis video or or like guide video. Not not 100% guide because I'm not too good at like. Again, I'm not I'm not in Vault of Heaven every week, so I can't really tell people how to be how to be good at this game necessarily. The way I kind of used to be when I was in Aether Raids, when it was just tier 27. Uh, so I am kind of falling off a little bit, but I, I, there are still th certain things um, that are attributed like because i'm running a flyer ball right like flyer balls are easier to a uh, slightly easier to counter there are there are you know they have their benefits but it's important to realize that unless you're running like a cav line you're probably not going to make it into vault of heaven every week and if you do make it into vault of heaven every week chances are you maybe you're not free to play but you know there's always there's always there's probably someone up there vault of heaven you know top tier free to play flyer ball or some other strategy that's not cav line but my point is it's like those people it's gonna it's, it's a huge uphill battle so keep that in mind but that being said um, I did want to make a video kind of going over some stuff about the flyer ball and, and things that like make a flyer ball kind of viable at lower level. Like if you want to get out of like, if you want to make it into tier 27, which is, you know, at, you, you kind of want to at least be at tier 27, you know, hit that. Um, and you know, whether you can like, cause you can get into vault of heaven, but whether you can stay there, I mean, maybe, you know, it doesn't really matter, but the fact that you can like flip flop it up, up in there and experience th that level of gameplay and that, that level of rewards it's probably something you want to reach, so maybe you can't stay in Vault of Heaven, but like at least being able to hit it uh, would be a pretty good accomplishment. And I think given like the way the game is and a lot of the free resources we've gotten for uh, everyone in general, I think a flyer ball is in a good place right now uh, if you want to make a flyer ball and you aren't too concerned about... like If a lot of the flyers are your favorite units, um, you're not too concerned about meta and you just... Or maybe you just don't like cav lines the way I do. Um, Flyerball is a nice option, and there's, like I said, there's a lot of uh, good free-to-play stuff out there that, that's made Flyerballs more accessible than they were in the past. Because back then, I mean, when, you know, the first half of this year's li this game's life cycle, Flyerball was strong, and it was one of the strongest strategies. 
but it was also very expensive. A lot of the good flyers were like really hard to get and really, you know, they were premium stuff. But now there's a lot of really good sort of easily available flyers. Um, so yeah, I, I wanted to um, make that make that point. Uh, but yeah, so other than that, I mean, I guess that's it. Um, hopefully you guys all enjoyed the small summoning session. And like I said, sometime in the future, I'll probably make some sort of like flyer ball analysis or flyer ball recommendation kind of video guide type thing. Um, but yeah, so that'll be it for today. I think... Depending on on how things go, I, I really wanted to start like making like um, hero analysis videos. So whenever like a new hero comes out, just talk about them and let you guys know what I think. Um, it depends. Uh, unfortunately, I, that doesn't feel too useful. But seeing as Acarus is like, I don't know, <laughs> he doesn't want to make YouTube videos anymore because um, he can't stand live you know living in a non echo chamber <laughs> that is his Discord. Um, then I think maybe I can fill that that void because like if you take some if you take a look at other like other channels like uh, Phoenix Master One and and um, and Tacho or, or other ones and you know I think Sacred Spear or whatever they do videos but I, like they're not on the same level as like Acarus where he'll you know he takes a more rational look where someone like Tacho is just kind of here to hype things up and then uh, Phoenix Master One is just kind of like he feels like a fax machine at this point or some sort of printer he just kind of like stuff goes in one ear and stuff comes out of his mouth and then that's it like it, it's really strange it, it, i don't mean to insult his videos i mean everyone who makes videos on on fire emblem has a place and they have a purpose but um i think the purpose that acarus filled is kind of like gone uh with with his like you know <laughs> inability to handle criticism um so i think you know it, hopefully i can start making videos and, and maybe try to like bring what he brought back uh, even though, you know, I don't have that many subscribers and those of you who are here, you know, thanks for being here, I guess. And hopefully I can help you guys out a lot uh, in any sort of way I can. But uh, yeah, that, yeah, like I said, that'll be it. And, and we'll see how that goes. Might do that stuff for like Epic 7 too, but you know, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, in any case, uh, good luck out there on your summons. And if you wanted to get Freya, hopefully you got her.